It's fireproof, is an excellent acoustic and thermal insulator, and it's NASA's commercial invention of the year. What is it? Find out next on Real World. This is what it sounds like outside of an airplane. And this is what it sounds like inside. Still pretty loud. But thanks to technology developed by NASA, it might soon sound like this. First class soundproofing. And that's just one of the applications for a versatile product co-developed by NASA chemists and a private company called PolyUMAC Technicor. This technology, we call it LARC FPF44. It's a flexible polyimid foam. Eric Weiser is a materials engineer and the assistant branch head of Advanced Materials and Processing at NASA's Langley Research Center. This material is a low density flexible foam. Density equals mass divided by volume. Very low density, open cell foam, and it's good for acoustic insulation. What you're hoping for is that the sound comes in and gets trapped inside the foam. Eric and his teammates, Roberto Cano and Brian Jensen, work here at Langley's Advanced Materials and Processing Branch. Beyond these walls, they're developing a material that will have its advantages over fiberglass, which is a standard airplane cabin insulator. Together with Juan Miguel Vasquez at PolyUMAC Technicor, they have come up with a new material that they think will have significant commercial applications. Through testing and some modifications that we've done, we're on the right track of developing a replacement for fiberglass. In addition to excellent acoustic insulation properties, the foam also absorbs heat, making it an excellent thermal insulator. Plus, it's fire resistant. The team is working to make a version of the product that is similar in density to fiberglass, which weighs in at about six and a half kilograms per cubic meter. The aircraft industry would like the lightest acoustic treatment that they can get, so we're trying to reduce the density. And it's not just airplanes. Polyimid foam's flexibility and ability to handle extreme conditions make it excellent for use in spacecraft. This actually is a thermal formed article that we did as a test application for the space shuttle where they have an icing issue on the feline bracket. It's great for watercraft too. The United States Navy uses more polyimid foam than any other organization. Several classes of Navy ships, they use polyimid foam as interior wall insulation and pipe covers. It's thermal and acoustic insulation, and it's non-flammable. So that's key on a Navy ship, the protection of the sailors. The NASA Langley team has spent a lot of time in the lab, refining the process to get the foam just right. The isocyanate and the dianhydride will form the foam, the polyimid, the base. Then you have other components in there that make it more flexible, um, control the bubble size, and then you have flame retardant. There's catalysts to get the reaction started to cause the reaction to happen at a certain rate. These guys make it look pretty easy, but it's a little trickier than it sounds. So what you're trying to do is contain the gas that's in the cells that holds it inflated at the same time rigidizing the outside structure, sort of like a balloon. And once that balloon becomes um, hard, then you want the gas out of the system. You've got a competition going between stabilizing the system and getting the bubbles out. If you stabilize it before the gas comes out, as you continue to heat it up, the gas will keep expanding and it'll blow it apart. So this is what happens when it goes wrong. As chemists continue to refine it and the processes involved in making it, Polyimid foam can be produced on a mass scale, dropping the price to a point where it would be cost effective to put it in homes and other buildings, providing a more efficient insulator than that typically used in such dwellings. Polyimid foam, pretty cool stuff. So cool, it was recently named NASA Commercial Invention of the Year. A shout out to Eric, Roberto, Brian, and Juan, who were all honored for their work.